and then I think Valde and MSL are probably going to hold that cool most of the time. But it's going to be a real struggle. So welcome to the game. It's day two here in the north or on the CT side. As Charlotte's on the T side of Nuke and Valde playing very, very far back, trying to not get taken down. And yet he gets tagged and then run down by Dupree. That's Valde out of the uh, round really early on. And that's great news for Astralis. That means they're going to be down, putting the bomb down quickly. There's no kit currently picked up. Did Valde have that? Someone has to pick that up if that's going to be a defuse. Otherwise, oh my god, this is gone. Magus with two instant headshots. And pretty much that's the round over. Dupree waiting and AZ. I mean, <laughs> he can open this door, but they're just going to smoke him off. And that's a... Just from one opening kill and ramp, yeah. that was it. Well, I mean, they talked about that Hollywood revenge factor for Magus coming and playing his old team and his old in-game leader and everything like that. So here we go. We're going to see him at it. But generally should not do when you've been losing that first fight and you can't really get any easy headshots. He falls back to the secondary corner down here. MSL there to help him out. Valda getting a kill. This is great defense being put up right now. It's a good return as well. Simultaneous kills coming in on Kirby and Valda. Still a three on three. MSL really trying to make that all work. The flick not connecting. He doesn't need to challenge anymore though. It's still a two on three. The bomb is not down yet. And another kill for MSL taking down Dupree. This is, what a delightful change in North. Watching, I mean, MSL orping all of a sudden and it's actually working. It's also, I mean, it helps so much that he had the proper rotations. That was a well-versed kind of uh, switch up in this defense for North going passive. Don't lose anyone outside to Astralis. Make sure everyone gets down, able to get a couple picks with that AWP. Kerby comes in to take some pressure away from him. Actually, MSL burning down, and Anders, this is so doable for Zidnix. Yeah, one on three. He is the guy to do it. He's got the hell for it. Lacking a couple of grenades. They're trying to come through. He sprays one down. He couldn't see the third one coming. Towards the upper bomb site, and they're already outdoor. No one watching that miscommunication, and that's what happens. You miss one detail, and you all get wiped out in less than six seconds. Everyone's gone. Round's over. You're going to have to save as well after this. Just like that, Astralis back in the game. In spite of winning four rounds in a row like this, that you can tell they will lose one round. They're back to scout and see that 75s. A lot of damage being put up here in a quick trade there. MSL for Glaive. Might have actually not been that bad for North. I don't know if Astralis expected that level of a defense. They tried to cross quickly and they didn't have the smokes. I don't know if maybe they were designed to kind of try and catch North off guard, but I don't think they were prepared to have M4s spraying them down. This is now a very dangerous device. It's going to be a free kill. Good play from Garaby going for more. Keeping the trigger down. Finds Dupree. Able to fall away as well. Volda down there to follow up with just a pistol. Next, two on four. And even though it's only two rifles, a lot of angles to clear close up against that AZ. AZ can't land it, but a good trade. Zipnix again in a position to clutch. At this time, it's a bit easier, one versus two, but the downside is he's on this A-bomb side. It's very hard to get out once you put the bomb down and find a reasonable position. They have a couple of flashbangs to make him turn around and at least maybe try and find out where he is hiding in the corner. And you could tell they're coming in from pretty good positions from Sip's point of view. If one was on the high ground, that'd make it a lot harder. Now he's got a bit of an angle that maybe he could do something with, and one of them has an AWP. It's Valda coming in from main. Flashbang is absolutely dead on perfect. And Sip now can't really know if anyone's made it onto the bomb side. He's going to be a little bit worried about that. There's the instant headshot. C set 75 is out. Sip, he's tried so many times. Can he get it this time? Shot shot from the AWP. And he gets it. Three. What a nice setup, though. I mean, the bomb isn't with them, but they have taken over this lower bomb side. But that's a huge kill. Glaive was hiding behind the boxes and lower, and he was trying to just be the assassin. AZ misses the timing. It's Zipnix to find him. Magisk is still lurking. Still can do some work. And Kirby trying to gather information outside. Might be able to get the three out here still. Valda falling back, just trying to play it safe, which is what you want to do with there's only 40 seconds left, and you have a bit of a chance here. Sip, though, will take down MSL. Vent. We'll see if he can make this work looking they have towards three upper. Monotos. If they actually Molotov this corner, that's going to be genius. They set it up, and there's the Molotov, but he's already out. What a oh. great play from me. Got the third one in. He read every single person. Important round for the rest of this half, and they've already gone right by him. They went over the top, and Kirby had no idea. Easy upper bomb site. MSL trying to come in to salvage the situation. Some of these timing hits on the upper bomb site have caught North completely off guard for as good as they've played throughout this half. That's two hits from this upper bomb site that have just been clean sweeps. Oh. That's not great. <laughs> that was very confusing. <laughs> what a what a situation. I don't know. It's very hard to say what would have happened if they had seen Kirby. Would they have slowed down? Would that have helped the inside defense? I, I at least they're going to lead the way. 
It's gonna go right in towards the warehouse, it looks like. Yeah, there's the pop flash. That's a beautiful device. I think he spotted him for sure. There it is. Immediate. Nice play from device. Not had the greatest game, but finding ways to be valuable. Leading the way, getting aggressive. Valda holding over towards the window as well. He's got an important role to play. He needs to prevent them from being able to get up ladder and into heaven and surrounding and collapsing upon this upper defense. Oh, he sees the gun barrel. Just the tip. Just the tip, and he's going to get the kill. No problem. Device did go down to Nico beforehand, so that's a bit awkward. There was that grenade. <laughs> you, you said it the throwing in the baseball, Moses. Maybe there's something to be to be worked on there. Take him out in the field. Do a couple of tricks. MSL. Heads up duel. Doesn't want to continue with it against Zipnix. Why not? But Zipnix is going to at least control... This lower bomb site is going to keep MSL here, and there's actually a lot of attention on him. North is going to collapse. Two players trying to find him. It's all down to timing for Zipnix. Breaks the window, takes that fight, finds the headshot. MSL does take him down, but now Astralis has the information, but Nico is doing a great job. These mid-round holds of the upper bomb site have been so crucial. Great shot from Glaive. He wanted to get the information, and since he got it, he did lose his life for it, MSL. Kind of going to be difficult to get back in here. I don't think the kit is what makes the most difference. He's got a smoke as well to maybe force Glaive to peek, but it's the health advantage here that's really a little bit significant. 45 on MSL. And Glaive is so far away. Now if there was a kit and he smoked it off and just defused, you got to wonder how much time Glaive would have had to have gotten here. There's the smoke and tabs it once. Glaive is going to run right into it, jumping and still gets it. But the, the, the glory days for me in that sense is definitely Taz on LAN. That was <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, second half coming up, and then we're not going to waste any time here. The Glock train has made its way to the A bombs night. KB and Valder opening up with two beautiful kills, shutting down the main defense, and the bomb is already down. This is so quick. Astralis just cannot keep up north. They want this pistol round, and why not? If they pick it up, they're going to be quite far ahead. And if they take this map away from Astralis, you're right, that would be a big upset. MSL shutting down Sip, and that leaves Device and Dupree. There's not really a lot they can do in this round. Just get a couple of kills, maybe save the the armor. This is, this is a bit weird. Not easy to stop those upper rushes, especially on a pistol round. You need like a nice opening kill. That initial defender has to one or two, jumping around the corner. Dupree can't handle it. Device will be the only one to survive, and as much as we talk about these Danish teams as, you know, Tuckins, MSL just now crossing to top stairs, they need to pick up the pace, and, and look, they're out of smokes as well. So even if they get into that lower bomb site, you have no safety. I don't think they can go lower. I think mean, Nico's even all the way back. They're going to have to split this upper bomb site somehow. And MSL with 2 HP is going to turn into a lurker. He can't really take part in the actual action excel. This is going to be a round for Astralis. I cannot see a world in which North wins this. No, definitely not. There's so little time left. They, they have to just run in and get the shots. And you can see the already setting up a nice firing line. That's a quad kill. All of it in five seconds. And Magus will get the last. Depressing if this ended like 68. But then everyone looking at the scoreboard would just say, Ah, you know, of course Astralis is going to win easily. But like, this game has been a, a struggle so far. Great spray for the smoke from Sip to take down one, and Device will find Kirby. Just the position we were talking about. He does love playing on the stairs, and he's going to get MSL too. Oh, looking for more of a fight, tapping away and taking down. Vince Dupree was just switching to a day. He's got to take this fight. He loses it, actually. Nico wins that one out. Glaive aggressive again. They check it. That's the bomb down. They have to go back for it, and they haven't even realized it yet. The communication obviously coming in. Still a massive advantage, but Glaive can still hold on to this round. Can, especially with Sip working on the other angle, taking down Valder. This is a disaster. They're coming up the stairs. And he's ready for it. Holding down Mouse One Glaive with a great double. Taking down Nikyu and Kevry. The bomb stuck out there, and now it's AZ getting shot in the back. The 180 not going to work. Sip will take him down. Damage done on three players. Glaive has not moved. It is so close. They were lined up through the smoke as well if he had taken those shots. Device going to be the next peak. But that smoke pushes him back. He has a crossfire with Dupree, so he's going to stick around. But great utility from North is kind of neutralizing this until Dupree gets aggressive. Look at this crossfire as well. So good for Device. Flanking out and just getting the kill on Nico, and they're getting shut down here. Kerbu and Valder, two on four. The grenade to follow up, and now Dupree coming in from the high ground. This is, this is unfair, isn't it? Ready to call in the airstrike any moment. If anyone shows themselves, you're checking every corner. They make their way. Oh, they actually check it. That's heads up play from Kerbu. Didn't see that coming. That outer take for North got slowed down so much by the utility, though. Allowed the rotations to come in. Volta, is going to read it. 
can't win the fight. Low HP on device and Magis. This is doable for Valda to keep North in this opening map. There's the peak, an easy kill. It's just Magis. And in this kind of a one versus one, so frequently, it just comes down to timing. Yeah, maybe especially on Nuke, right? Because you you have to pick a bomb site when you're the defensive player, and if it's the wrong one, the bomb's gonna go down and you're in you're in trouble. If it's the right one, we'll see. 30 seconds left, and Valdez just walking into lobby now. Trying to see if he could find his way. This game has been so intense all the way through. Ending maybe in a one-on-one -on -one here. That could be interesting. Now Magus is changing his position a bit. It will be an A plant, and Magus might come into the perfect time. Oh, my God. Bomb being planted. Valder. A couple of more seconds, and Magus would have been there to shut him down in the middle of the plant. But now he's actually got the advantage. Made his way into hut. Very, very hard for Magus to get this defuse now. No smoke to force out Valda. Very low on health as well. Maybe just sit on it. Hold it. See what happens. <laughs> he's going to tab it. Just holds it down. Valda on the other side. He's going to do just that. And he's going to get it as well. 16-8. Astralis pick up new. <laughs>